hey, please watch this video all the way to the end if you've had your gallbladder removed because I'm going to show you why it happened and what you need to start doing immediately to provide some help. So according to the National Institute of Health, over 20 million people have gallstones, which means that they're having a problem with bile acid metabolism. And over 300,000 people every single year have their gallbladder removed. Don't let anyone tell you that the gallbladder is not important because once you study and understand the purpose of the gallbladder and the purpose of bile, you're going to realize that when you don't have your gallbladder, you're setting yourself up for a lot of different issues. So the gallbladder is a sensory organ that essentially is a holding tank to be able to store large amounts of bile that's being produced from your liver. Bile is essentially helping you break down and emulsify your fats so that they can become small enough to be able to cross through the gastrointestinal barrier. In addition to that, you also need bile to be able to absorb your fat-soluble vitamins like vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K. Guys, even if you're vitamin A deficient, you're going to have problems with night vision. If you're vitamin D deficient, you're going to have problems with your immune system, especially your CD4 cells. And even being vitamin K deficient can even cause issues with calcium deposition within your tissues like your thyroid, but also within your arteries. So if you've lost your gallbladder and the ability to release large amounts of bile to be able to break down dietary fat, after you get your gallbladder removed, a lot of people will experience things like diarrhea and loose stool after meals. They'll experience dry skin because they can't absorb fats very well. They'll also have vitamins A, D, E, K deficiency. And also what they can start to experience is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. So they'll see growth of certain bacteria. And even some of that bacteria can cause things like methane production which slows down the biles and also things that can produce a lot of bloating so who typically loses their gallbladder typically it's more women than men because estrogens play a role in bile acid metabolism but in addition to that who loses their gallbladder is people who have a fatty liver and what causes a fatty liver hydrogenated oils partially hydrogenated oils high fructose corn syrup, uh, the overconsumption of sugar, and also the overconsumption of alcohol. So if you've lost your gallbladder, did your doctor tell you that you need to be on a bile acid replacement and take it before every single meal? In addition to that, a lot of people will also need pancreatic enzymes, specifically with lipase, to help them break down their fats even further. But ultimately, you have to fix the reason why you lost the gallbladder, and that always goes back to the liver.